In this video, we will try to understand indirect control of a single acting pneumatic cylinder. The various components which are used in this particular circuit are FRL unit that is filter, regulator and lubricator unit, then start wall which is nothing but the direction control wall and it can be lever operated or hand operated, then push button operated direction control wall which is used to operate this pilot operated direction control wall which in turn will operate this particular single acting cylinder. Now in this particular mode as you can see the red line which is indicating the air line the block positions are shown over here so push button operated direction control wall is in the right envelope mode and as this particular pilot operated DC wall is not operated by this push button operated this is in the right envelope mode and both this particular right envelope mode they show the block position now as the control of this particular pneumatic cylinder single acting pneumatic cylinder is done through this particular pilot operated DC wall this is known as the indirect control of a single acting cylinder so push button operated direction control wall will operate the pilot operated direction control wall and that in turn will operate this particular single acting cylinder so let us see with the help of animation how this particular circuit works Now the various components of this particular circuit which we have already shown which we have already seen are shown over here. Now let us try to trace the circuit once again. So air from the compressor will enter into FRL unit. Then suppose this start wall is in the left envelope mode and push button operated direction control wall which is NC wall that is normally closed wall. Then this is also in the right envelope. This is in the right envelope mode and this is the block position. So air from this line will enter into the right envelope of pilot operated DC wall which is not operated by this particular push button operated DC wall. So this is also the block position and hence the air is not admitted in this particular single acting cylinder. Due to this the spring force will cause the retraction of the piston inside the cylinder and air from this side through this particular line will go to the atmosphere. Now when we will operate the push button then this left envelope mode will come in the action. So let us see what will happen. So when we operate this particular push button then we will have this left envelope mode over here. Then air from the FRL unit will enter through this particular left envelope mode into this left envelope mode which is in turn is used to operate the pilot operation of the direction control wall or pilot operated direction control wall such that this left envelope mode will come in action. Now once that is done the air from this line will enter through this particular line and will be admitted on this cylinder side of the piston and will cause the piston to move in the forward direction compressing the spring. So this will give the forward stroke as shown over here. So as the operation of this single acting cylinder is done through this particular pilot operated DC wall and which is in turn operated by this particular push button DC wall. Therefore the circuit is known as indirect control of single acting pneumatic cylinder. Thank you very much for watching.